All right, this video is kind of an odd title of selecting and moving and arranging text. So make sure you're using the table of contents to kind of dial down what information you need um, because this video is really going to be a catch-all of some different things you can do with text. So let's get started. So we've been working with this text box here. I'm going to zoom in. And what we're going to do down here is create a box behind the text. And this is different than this text. The reason for that is I want this box behind to be transparent. And if I put a transparency on this box, you can see it changes um, the text and the object. So it's not quite the look I want. So with my rectangle tool, I'm going to create a box and I'm going to fill that with white and then I'm going to change the opacity. Now I need to get my text and bring it to the front. That can be a little bit difficult when you have really two things on top of each other great keyboard shortcut use the command and you can kind of dial down so if we had five or six layers you could hit keep hitting the command key to get the box you would like selected I am now right clicking or control click going to arrange and I'm going to bring my text box to the front so you can see that look looks much better um, and then I can just kind of use my text box to get that sized into position and I can adjust my transparency. Around 70% is usually a good transparency to maintain readability with this type of text. So in this box, we're going to work on something different. And that is something called inset spacing. You might have noticed that the text is almost right up to that line. And that does not help readability. So we're going to go up to object and text frame options, which is command B. You are going to go to your inset spacing and change that to whatever you would like. We're going to do 1P and hit preview. So you can see it creates a text wrap on the inside of that text box so that your text is a little more readable. And this is what P or six points would look like. and hit OK. And so that's your inset spacing. Another th way that you can work with text that I find helpful, especially long blocks of text, maybe it continues on, is to edit in Story Editor. And it's Command Y and it brings up an additional text box that allows you to kind of read things a little bit better, um, see where your overset is, go in and make text changes. You can run spell check from here or you can run spell check from this page and that's just edit, spe check, edit spelling, check spelling or command I and you can choose to check a story that you have selected or an entire document. Other things to consider with selecting, arranging, and moving text are things like this extra space we have in this text box. We want to get that to fit, so we're going to go to Object Fitting, Fit Frame to Content, and that just helps overlapping text boxes. You don't have to worry about that as much. You can see that Explore is all the way to the back. You can use that Command click reach that, access that document. Um, final thing on text, we've done this before, but always make sure if you have this type of box where text has continued, you hit Command A to select all of the text, even the text you don't see, so you continue to work with it. Um, other helpful tools that will help you with arranging your object, just note you can send things to the back, to the front, send it backwards by layer, all of those options are very helpful. Um, as is the select and selecting and arranging your objects. 
So there is your catch-all of all kinds of fun things you can do in InDesign.